okay here we are at chapter number nine social institutions so what does it mean the social institutions social institutions establish practices and establish law custom or the practices the term is widely used to describe the social practices that are regularly and continuously repeated are sanctioned and maintained by social norms and have a major significance on the social structure like role the terms refers to establish the pattern of the behavior but institution is regarded as a higher order more general unit that incorporates the priority of the role the social institution is an interrelated system of um, social roles social norms organized around the satisfaction of an important social needs or the social functions social institution are organized pattern of belief and the behavior that are centered on the basic of the social needs if we define some of the elements of the social institution is that the group of people so there must be a uh, some group of people that makes basically social institutions united by the common interest so they all have they all must have the common interest like for example if if we talk about the religion so there are uh, so many followers who uh, you know follow the one religion and they all have the one reason or the common reasons to follow that particular re religion then they have a material uh, resources that could be the other uh, institution like economic institutions so everyone has a aim to you know have a some kind of resources or material resources that can fulfill their basic needs and the having norms like the society it could be the another institutions and could be the elements of the social institutions that everyone want to uh, opt or want to gain some particular kind of uh, the culture and the norms ritual and the custom to uh, live their lives then fulfill of some social needs so all the institutions not only provide you your financial needs uh, or or fulfill your uh, financial need but also gives you some social needs for example you you need to interact with the person uh, when you live in a society so all these your basic needs uh, fulfilled by these uh, social institutions if we talk about uh, some kind of a function of the social institutions we basically categorize the function of institution into two part the primary one and the secondary one so primary uh, functions which are also called the manifest explicit or direct functions or you can say they are the basic or the initial functions of any institutions or um, individual when interact is the institution so first interactions within any kind of a social institutions known as the primary institutions so what are the primary function of the social institution is the family institutions and the other one is the secondary, uh, secondary functions or uh, secondary characteristics of the social institutions is which are also called indirect hidden or the latent functions through these functions social institutions fulfill important needs in the society so we have a family institution which is the part of the primary uh, primary functions while the religious institution economic institution political institution education institutions this will fulfill the uh, secondary function of the social institutions so we will discuss